I had stole like eight hundred dollars from this trick, and he seen that I stole it, and he did a bad kick and kicked me in my mouth. Wow! Mm. Right here. Oh, yeah. that's that scar. Right there, that's the scar. And guess what? I jumped in the cab, went two blocks up, got it sold up at this at at, at the um, hospital, St. Francis Hospital in San Francisco. And guess what? Went back on the track to get a pimp money. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But, if it was, uh, but I'm gonna date you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you got that dobre me faso late t dope. Right. If you're a trick, though, and you, like, some of these guys, I've heard crazy stories, and, and, I, and I've seen different things where I talk to different people that say, well, you know, girls tell me, like, and oh, he just told me that he'll tell me to go in there and, and, and tell him to go clean it off and we just rob him. Like, it'd be different cases where they don't always do the job. So, well, see, I ain't never been involved in no low life stuff like that. Yeah. Robbing tricks. clients yeah. and tricks and, you know. But you heard stuff. of it, though, oh, right? Yeah, it goes around all the time, but I'm not going to be looking over my shoulder because they're going to come back and get you. Right. I had, like, I never was a thief and stuff. But I started stealing when I got with Kenny Red because he had thieves and stuff. So I was like, I'm about to learn how to steal too. So I can go home and save my coochie for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I had stole like $800 from this trick. And he seen that I stole it and he did a bad kick and kicked me in my mouth. Wow. Mm. Right here. Oh, yeah. that's that scar. Right there, that's the scar. And guess what? I jumped in the cab, went two blocks up. Got it sold up at this at, at, at the um, hospital, St. Francis Hospital in San Francisco. And guess what? Went back on the track to get a pimp money. Mm. The father called Kenny and said, oh, my mouth got busted. I want to come home. But if I would have called my first folks, he would have been like, come home, baby. Mm. It was, see, it's too different. But Kenny Red didn't play like that. Kenny Red didn't play that, bitch. Go get my money. And you like that better? Well, it was just what it was. Mm. I loved Kenny. Mm. So whatever he said, it was his is that, is that, is, is, And that is, that's, that's the culture. Like, if you really, really down with your pimp when you out there and you you do exactly what he tells you because you know he got your better interests at heart. He do. I ain't never been left in jail. But, like, little gaga Google shit like that, like, Kenny would have been like, girl, if you don't get your lip sold up and go get my money, and that's what I did. I went and got my lips stitched up and went back out to the track. What did Kenny say when he seen you? Cause he I seen told him it. the next, I told him when he seen me, and what like he said. this motherfucker kicked me in my lip. He was like, oh. It wasn't nothing, <laughs> it was like, oh, me not like, oh, but damn, at least you went and got it, you know, taken right. care of. But it wasn't like, oh baby, oh God. No, that. You're gonna stay at home for a whole week until it heals mm -hmm. up. No. No, he gonna give me some neosporin and some goddamn peroxide and be like, "Bitch, go get a pimp's money." Wow, and, and that's what so, it is. But it, it's because because when you're dealing with that lifestyle, it comes with it. It not not only that come comes with it, it come with it, but you also used to live in a certain lifestyle when you're doing it. A so luxurious you, lifestyle. So that lifestyle has to be afforded. Yeah. Right. So you can't afford to say, oh, you live done this. No, you got to you do gotta it. You gotta go get some money. I know I got bills. You I got days it. off. Well, sometimes, I remember one time I went four years without a day off, but not like straight working four <laughs> years, but like if the, if the track was hot, then you bitch, you know, can go in the house, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like a planned But four day. years straight. Yeah, well, you know, my mom's birthday, I might fly and go see her or something like that, but on holidays, you know, oh, I didn't been on the whole show on Christmas shit. I didn't got Christmas money from tricks. All kind of stuff. But how, but what's the most money you made in a month? You probably were averaging. A lot of money. But you know, back in the 80s. More than that. These girls now, these days, they can't even go on a 30-day run. Like, they can't go straight 30 days without, you know, just stacking their money. They Because they, it's just it's just not the same. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.